Hello, I'm Pastor Tommy McMurtry from Liberty Baptist Church. Thank you for watching another video as we discuss teaching on preaching. And this week we're going to continue talking about topical preaching. Last time we talked about a lot of the dangers of topical preaching. And this week we're going to talk about just uh, putting these things together and helping you find topics to preach on. And I think uh, anybody who's preached for any length of time, they've all found themselves in that place where they're wondering, all right, what do I preach? this Sunday. I've got to I've got to have a sermon for the people and I think all of us uh, you know we fear being repetitive, uh, we fear being unbalanced. You know, we want to make sure we cover every topic. I don't think most preachers want to avoid anything. And I think we've all been there where we did we needed to preach something uh, or we needed to come up with something. But we were we were just kind of drawing a blank. And so just a few tips for helping you find a topic. All right, things that will help you be able to find topics so you'll be ready to start putting out you know, three or four messages every week without being super repetitive. And so the first thing you need to do to help you find topics is just be reading your Bible. If you are reading your Bible like you should, if you have, uh, if Bible reading is a daily thing that you do, uh, you're gonna get some sermon ideas as you read through that Bible. It's, it's just gonna happen. Just be reading, be paying attention and you know, ask God to show you something. And if you're reading your Bible, you're gonna get some ideas, but not just reading. Another thing you need to do is to be actively studying your Bible. You should always be you know, studying different things you know, in different, different subjects, uh, trying to develop a deeper understanding, uh, maybe working on a specific book of the Bible that you feel like your knowledge is lacking in somewhere. We're, we're all students of the Word. We're all trying to grow in that knowledge and so there should always be something that we're kind of working on something we're taking notes on and as you do that you're going to get you're going to get more ideas as you uh, develop a greater understanding of the bible as a whole it's going to continue to just expand subject matter that you have to talk about so always be reading always be studying and then uh, be actively ministering to others when you are ministering to other people you're going to get a lot of great ideas. When you find you know, certain common problems that people are having, it's going to give you ideas that, you know, if all these people are struggling with this problem, this is probably something that other people are struggling with, and I, I probably should preach on this. If you are actively soul winning, you're going to get a lot of great ideas because when you go soul winning and you talk to a lot of people and they're, they're all having the same hang-ups, I can't tell you how many ideas I've gotten for sermons just out soul winning because questions come up, it gets you thinking about certain things. And it's like, I see, you know, this is an area where people aren't understanding some things. And I want to preach on this and make sure my people understand this because you talk to a lot of people that attend churches who don't understand a lot of basic stuff. And when I come across people like that, my attitude is I don't want the people in our church to be lacking in that area. So you get a, you get a ton of material when you're ministering to people, when you're, when you're just uh, dealing with people, helping people, talking to others, it's going to make a uh, big difference. You're going to get a lot of ideas. But then another way is listening to other, uh, other preachers. Um, you know, nobody's perfectly balanced in their preaching, but there's others out there that are going to be stronger in areas where maybe you're lacking, and we can learn from them. There's always something that we can glean from other people, even if we don't even agree with them 100% on everything. A lot of times there's things that they have that we can learn and that give us ideas. Uh, we see areas where they're doing really well, where maybe we're kind of struggling in that area, and their preaching can often uh, help us and give us a lot of ideas. And uh, another area is just reading some good books, you know, reading books on doctrine and uh, different things about the Bible. If, if you're doing that, you're going to get some ideas. But you're not just going to get ideas just from sitting down and saying, all right, I want to start writing messages. No, it's by you doing all these things that a pastor should be doing, reading your Bible, uh, ministering to people, studying your Bible, uh, just you know, reading books, all ministering to people. All these things are going to give you the ideas. So what are some different types of topics? Because there's a lot of things you could preach on. Well, there's Bible doctrines. You, need, you want to make sure the people in your church are familiar with different doctrines when it comes to salvation and sanctification and justification. And, you know, there's so many different Bible doctrines out there. Preach on those. There, there's a, I mean, you can do an entire series 
on some of these doctrines that will be very helpful to people, that will strengthen uh, you know, their faith if we're uh, preaching on these things. But not just Bible doctrines. I think it's appropriate to preach on current event situations. And this is why I think topical preaching is important. When you're doing expository preaching, you'll get to cover a lot of Bible doctrines. But often, uh, when you're, if you're just doing expository preaching, there might be stuff going on in the world and you need to uh, talk about those subjects. You know, there's the you know, unique challenges that are going on in the day and the time that we're living in and your people need some help and some guidance in that area. And if you're just preaching through a certain book and that's all you're doing, that book of the Bible might not cover what they need. And so you need to be ready to preach on those things. And whatever it is, whatever they're dealing with, you know, uh, go to the scriptures and see what the Bible has to say about it. So uh, nothing wrong with preaching on current events and just relevant subjects. You know, Bible characters is another way to just kind of bring the Bible to life. It helps people if they, in their studying of the Bible, when they're reading these stories, the more familiar they are with the, the, uh, with the characters, the more background they know on them. All these things are going to help people develop a greater understanding of the Bible. And so this, you know, that's great subject matter right there, just talking about Bible characters. Uh, you can do just Bible stories. Just focus on different stories and famous stories in the Bible. So many good things you can get from that. Character traits. Uh, the Bible talks about a lot of different character traits that we should be working on. So, you know, there's no end of subjects when it comes to preaching. And so uh, hopefully these will kind of help you a little bit. But once you have, uh, it comes time though, and you're ready to put that topical sermon together, first thing you need to do, of course, is select that topic. What are you going to be preaching on? You know, your topic idea, it might come from any of the sources that we just mentioned. And when it comes to a topic, most of us probably already know where we stand. So, you know, what are we going to do right now? You know, are we going to look for a scripture to back up what we want to say? Or are we going to go to the scriptures and let them tell us what to say? And that's something you need to keep in mind whenever you're putting that topical message together. I get it. We, most pastors, they know where they stand on different subjects. But before you put that sermon together, don't just be putting your own thoughts down. Let the Bible speak to you. Uh, let the scriptures do the preaching. Nobody's saying what you already think is wrong, but before we go preach to others, let the Bible preach to you. Very important. But then after you've selected the topic, define the topic. Okay? People ought to know what you're preaching about throughout your message. You know, and they especially ought to know what it was about after it was over. A lot of times when preachers preach sermons, they talk about a bunch of stuff. They say a lot of good things and a lot of it's true and I agree with what they're saying, but I don't really know what they preached about when they're done. They were just all over the place. I, I, I could never guess what to title that message uh, or how to categorize it. There was a whole lot of yelling. Heard some Bible verses in there. It sounded good, but I don't really know what you talked about. That's not good. We need to make sure people know what we're preaching about. We don't want to just go all over the place, you know, and, th and this is a common mistake for uh, preachers who are not pastors because a lot of times when they get that opportunity to preach, you know, they want to tell everyone everything they know. Don't do that, okay? You're not, um, it's, you're not supposed to just get up there to showcase your Bible knowledge. You're supposed to be up there trying to give the people something that will be a help to them and that will be a blessing and you just getting up there just telling everybody everything you know is only going to bless you. You're not going to bless anyone else. So you need to make sure whatever, for whatever topic that you're covering that you have a main topic of Scripture that deals with that. You know? And that's very important that if you're going to be you know, introducing a topic or defining a topic, there should be some place in the Bible that clearly lays that out. You know, that lay, you know, that gives a good foundation. There should be some place in the Bible you can go to because whatever you're talking about, it does need to have scriptural authority behind it. It does need to be Bible-based. So make sure it's something, too, that actually applies. And don't go proof texting and don't go just butchering a scripture to make it fit something 
uh, that you already decided you wanted to talk about, make sure it actually deals with that topic. And you know what? If you can't find a scripture for it, maybe just don't talk about it. I, I, I know that seems like, you know, that, that could never happen, but, you know, maybe there's just some things you shouldn't talk about. So make sure you create points, you know, that help people understand the topic with su sufficient scripture to prove your point. You know, you need to have, you need to be going somewhere with this. And I think it's important, you know, to have a good outline, one that makes some sense, uh, have a definite conclusion to the message that kind of takes you back to where you started. You know, many preachers who preach topical messages, they end their sermons on a completely different subject than what they started with. And you know, and that might happen sometimes in an expository message when you're preaching through a chapter, but if I'm gonna preach a topical message and I wanna preach a, you know, a, a subject on the love of God, and the title of my sermon is The Love of God, you know, I should start that on, uh, and it should be about the love of God, and it should end being about the love of God. I sh it shouldn't be on a completely new subject somewhere else. That just confuses people, and you're not helping anybody out with that. That's, that's not a good thing. And many people who have this attitude of only doing expository preaching, they often forget that many people in the church, they need more than just a head knowledge about a certain subject, but they need real life application and they need instruction to help them with their daily lives. And so when we see a need for a subject to be covered in our church, we don't wanna wait until we get to a passage that deals with that as we're preaching through a book, okay? We don't, we don't wanna do that. That might be needed right now. And it's up to us as pastors to be watching over the flock and we need to be sensitive to the needs of our congregation and we need to cover these subjects in a timely manner. So don't be afraid of topical preaching. Just make sure you do it right. Please preach topical messages, but always remember the scripture is the authority, not you. Okay? There may be some things that you feel very strongly about that the Bible doesn't say much or maybe anything about, but if that's the case, then just don't talk about it. And I think the goal of every preacher, uh, at least it should be, to be able to do like the Apostle Paul in Acts 20 and be able to say, verse 26, Wherefore I take to you a record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. There shouldn't be anything that we are afraid to preach about, any subject that we are afraid to cover. If we are rightly dividing the word of truth, we're not going to have to worry about preaching through the book of, he of Hebrews because it's going to mess up what we've been teaching somewhere else. If we're teaching things right, any other book that we add and we teach is just going to strengthen whatever we taught in the other book. But e either way you look at it, when you get up there behind the pulpit, you've got to remember, this is not about you. Okay, I get it. You're the pastor. I get it, the Bible says the elders that uh, rule well. You see that word rule and you see yourself as this ruler, you got all power and all authority, but no, we are ministers of the wor word of God and we need to be preaching his word, what he wants, and we've gotta make sure that we're disciplined in our study, we make sure we're disciplined in putting our messages together because we wanna preach what God has to say, not just what we have to say. And so hopefully these tips will help you uh, on your topical preaching to make sure this is something that you don't avoid, that you don't skip, but make sure when you do it, you do it right. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope it was a blessing. God bless you.